I came to UFI because of the PGM program. I was introduced uh, at the age of four by my dad, and um, I started playing tournaments at the age of eight, and I continued through high school and played some pretty big amateurs and stuff like that. Uh, I started golfing when I was eight years old. My dad taught me. Uh, he really he played the game when he was in high school, and he, he thought it was a really good sport to play for your whole life, and, and I completely agree. Uh, I started playing in tournaments when I was 11 in WJGA tournaments, and I, uh, I really, really liked the atmosphere. I liked all the things that golf could teach you, and I just kept playing through high school and really enjoyed it. I, got, I was introduced to the game by my grandpa at a very young age, at five years old. And ever since then, I've loved the game of golf, played as much as I could, and I just love golf because of that. I'm not doing the grandpa. I got into playing golf when I was six years old through the Ranch Club Junior Golf Program at, in Priest River, Idaho. Um, that's where I grew up. And so I played a little bit when I was a kid, not a whole lot. Then I started playing high school golf when I was a freshman in high school. Uh, barely made the team, tied for last place. Three internships while I was in the program. First one was in at Generals Ridge in Washington D.C. It was the first time I was east of Montana, so it was a culture shock. Uh, but it was a great experience. Probably one of the best experiences of my life. I got to get out of town, see a whole different side of the world, uh, different side of the nation. Um, and then I went to Portland, Oregon, at a private club for three months, and then I did a ten-month internship at Stone Ridge. Uh, I've gone to um, Spokane, Washington at a public course there, and that was pretty interesting just dealing with the public and just working straight off tea times. And the next year I went to North Carolina at a resort, and that was a lot different because I felt like the people were a lot more mellow, and um, they were just more there to have a good time, not just to pay a day a raise. They were looking for the resort experience I was in. My first internship was at uh, Three Lakes Golf Course in Malaga, which is right outside of Wenatchee. Uh, there, I, I loved my job. I, it was a good membership base. I really, I worked inside the pro shop, had managed some employees. I really liked it out there. And my next internship was at Chelan at Bear Mountain Ranch Golf Course. And there, I had a lot more responsibility. It was, it was more of a resort type feel, and I really liked all the responsibilities that I had there. I have gone to the golf club Black Rock in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. It's a private, highly private uh, course. It's got 18 holes right now. They're looking to expand. Um, worked a lot at range, which is individual work, and you have to know your stuff in order to control like who goes to the first tee and when. Um, and I did some car bar and some ballet. And then a, uh, my second internship was at the golf club Pronghorn, which was in Bend, Oregon. And it has one private, highly private course designed by Tom Fazio, a public course designed by Jack Nicholas. And that was their first year actually fully opening the Jack Nichols course to the public. Um, I got promoted to Valley Supervisor during that summer because I worked hard and uh, you, you need somebody up there that could know what they're doing, who's coming in from the gate, who lives on property and is coming in to play golf and where to send the clubs and stuff like that. And if they uh, wanted, like, you get to know the members so well that you know who would want Valet and who would not. Um, that's a good question. I don't really know, to be honest with you. Uh, right now, I'm happy. Um, I have a feeling that after a while, I'll want to go move on and do something else. Uh, what that exactly is, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, the reason I'm mainly doing this internship this summer is because it's mainly business-based, but it's still related to golf. So I kind of want to see if I can potentially get a job with uh, with the PGA, whether it be at the headquarters or whether it be at a different office in a different state. I really want to um, use the business side of things I learned here and the golf stuff that I learned here and combine them and uh, really see where it takes me. Uh, you know, that's a good question. I'm not really sure. I thought about becoming an athletic director um, and getting my master's after school. Uh, thought about working for a golf company. That's, those are probably the two right now I've been thinking about. Um, but honestly, that's really up in there. There's so many options with the degrees from here and PGM. So. I chose, I heard about it from my friend um, about the program. 
But I was first enrolled in the PGM program, but I had a, when I first got here, I didn't know if I wanted to stick with it or not. And I also had the other two majors I was looking into, landscape architecture and engineering. So that's one of the reasons why. So if I ended up not liking the program, I could switch to one of the majors I was interested in. And that's really why I chose it. I didn't really look into the weather that much. I knew it was going to be snowy in the winter, but it's what they had here. So based on the education, that's why I chose it. I came to the University of Idaho. I chose the University of Idaho because it's close. It's close to my hometown, uh, reasonably affordable, and I wanted to go to a four-year and not a start at community college. At first, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I went to community college for two years, and I, I've been working a golf course pretty much my whole life. And I really, really, when, when I finally saw the program, PGM program, I just knew that's what I wanted to do. And I knew I wanted to get into business. I was taking a bunch of business classes, and the combination of business with the golf part really uh, brought me here. Basically, just uh, being able to help people and teach them the game of golf, because I, I have a high passion about it. I love golf, and I really want to teach other people to have that passion too, because it's a sport that you can play for your whole life. You hit that pure shot, like I made an eagle on 16 here at the UIGC, and it was just like, you can't get better in that moment. It's just so excited. When you, uh, it bounced once to hit the flag, and I knew it was in, and I just, yeah. <laughs> it's just a whole lot of fun. I'm going to hit those good shots and make good pots and stuff. The PGM program is also known as the Professional Golf Management Program. The program, program, program. No! Oh, uh, I did it on purpose. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Hi! Who's in there? I was scoping it out. Anyways, what? By my dad. No spinning. Why? Because. Because you're going like this in the chair. This is an interview, dude. Dude, I like tilt the world. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if I laid on the ground, it's still. <laughs> 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 <laughs>